West Coast Cannabis here with OpticLEDGrowLights.com. Today, we're going to show you guys how to set up the amazing new V3 controller with your triple dimmer lights. Let's take a look. So whether you have the 320S next gen with the triple dimmer or the 650S next gen, as you can see right here, or even the 750S next gen. Any of these triple dimmer lights, this is how you're gonna wanna automate your grow with the new V3 touchscreen controller. I'm gonna show you guys how to program this V3 touchscreen LED master controller to work with your Slim 650S. All three generations of the 650S have white, red, and blue dimmers. So I'm gonna show you here. So this is on the manual dimmer adjustment screen. You can manually adjust your dimmers. What I wanna show you is how you program the auto sunrise and sunset. As you can see right here, it comes with just a standard entry here. At 7 a.m., it says on at 25%, and then at 5 p.m. to shut it off. So we're gonna make adjustments. That's just the factory settings there. So what we wanna do is we wanna go here, we're gonna click on the settings button, and we're gonna come over here to the 7 a.m. start time. What we're gonna do, we're gonna turn the white and blue off, and we're gonna crank the red up to 60. So it is proven to put your plants to sleep faster and to wake them up faster if you give them 15 minutes of just the pure deep red. And you can also look up Emerson effect. So now we're gonna set the next one at 7.15 a.m. So this is if your lights come on at 7 a.m. Then we would have all three dimmers at 20% right there at 7.15 in the morning. So you enter 20% on all three, hit yes, and it saves that line entry in there. And then the next one, we'll go in here to 8 a.m. Now this is set with military time to make it easier to program this. So 8 a.m., we're gonna go to 40%. Now the V3 controller here does have a new touch screen which makes it easier to program. See now at 8 a.m. we're at 40. We'll go in here, 9 a.m. we'll bump it to 50. So we want to closely mimic the sun as much as possible, and that's what the plants have acclimated to. Now 10 a.m. we'll bump it to 70. And that's on all three, red, white, and blue. And at 11 a.m., we'll put it at 80. 11 a.m., 80. Now, personally, I've seen the best results when you stair-step in the light like so. Now, let me go back here and show you. You can see right here, oops, let me go back in here, mode one. You can see here the light stair stepping its way up. Just like when the sun rises, when it first crests the horizon, you only get a little bit of light. And then as it gets higher in the sky, the light intensity increases. And then from the main part of the day, which is represented right here, you get that full intensity. So what we're going to do is now we're going to start with the sunset effect. Okay, so it shows we made it to 11 a.m. at 80. So we're gonna keep it just at 80. Now we're gonna add 4 p.m., which would be 1600, because it's military time, and that makes this much easier to program. So 1600, so that's 4 p.m. We're gonna drop that down to 60. That's at 16. Then at 1700 hours, which is 5 p.m., we're going to drop that down to 40%. And yes, you can have your 
red and blue dimmers adjusted based on what you like, flower quality, and your personal preferences. So 17, so we're gonna go to 18, which we're only gonna be at 20%. I recommend just to keep the dimmers all at the same percentage on your first run so you can set a foundation for how you wanna run your controller and your lights. So that's at 18. And then we want to go to 18.45 and only have the red for those final 15 minutes. Your plants will absolutely love it. Full blown simulated sunset for you. And then we're going to go at 19, 1900 hours, so that's 7 p.m. So, and we're going to have it set to 0, 0, 0 percent. Now, now that shuts your light off. So then when we come back to the chart here, you can see just the deep reds coming on right there for the sunrise. Then it stair steps up, stands at that peak intensity, and then stair steps down and then for the sunset, and then you get more of those deep reds in there. And then you can hit the preview button, and this allows the controller to simulate over a 20 second period what your full day of lighting is gonna look like for you. You can see it going up, it's gonna ride that plateau, and it's gonna sunset back down. And I'm gonna show you exactly what that looks like on the light while we do that preview. Now you can save up to five different modes so you can continue to use your same settings, grow after grow. So let me show you. So if you're in mode one, this would be your first three weeks of flower and you can see here, stair steps up, peaks out at 80%. And now here's the thing, when I go into mode let me go into mode number two. Now if I look at mode number two here, you're gonna see it stair steps up quicker, boom, 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 a longer plateau and a higher percentage at 90%. Now let's take a look here at mode number three. Into timer mode, you can see, boom, boom, up to the plateau quickly, drops back down, and on this one we get all the way up to 100%. And those are the five different modes that you can save your first three weeks of flower, weeks four through six, and weeks seven through 10. Grow after grow, you're gonna be able to use those same settings without having to make adjustments to your controller.